Hello, friend. All right, so I just got done at Walmart, if you can see. Welcome to wifey vlog number three, new wifey vlog. I'm a new wife. I've been married for eight months, and um, I'm just taking you guys along with me to do the ropes of becoming a new wife and everything that comes along with it, right? So, homeowning, being a wife, everything like that. Not homeowning. I own an apartment. I don't know what I'm saying right now. You guys, I'm nuts. Okay, um, but what I wanted to tell you was I just stopped at Walmart and I picked up a new plant because I've been having some bad success with plants lately. Like, I've been killing plants. And I had this plant for a few years and then I repotted it into a new pot with new soil and I killed it. I think it's called plant shock syndrome or something where your plant like it's so shocked that it's put into a new pot that it dies. So that happened um, and the pot is so cute and I want to put a plant in it, but there's a dead one in there now. So this is my my um, my next plant. I hope I don't kill it. Uh, yeah, let's hope it goes better this time. Um, I want to be a good gardener. I want to be good at taking care of plants and I want like plants in my home to just give my home more life and more just color. I love plants anyways. So yeah, I'm just not the best at taking care of them. I think that comes with time and learning how to take care of plants. But I come from a family. My grandpa was a vegetable, grew up on a vegetable farm. He was a landscape architect. He knew everything. Like he was a computer. Like his brain was a computer for anything plant related. My dad is a landscape architect. My mom and my dad met in horticulture school where they were studying about plants and they know everything they have a beautiful yard and I'm over here and I feel like I barely know anything so I need to you know carry on the tradition of our family my sister's really good at plants too so anyways that's that's the plant story here I'm gonna drive home um today I'm cooking breakfast no, today I'm cooking a dessert because it's Johnny's mom's birthday, mi suegra, mi suegra, did I say that right? Mi suegra's, mi, la, la cumpleaños, no, la cumpleaños de mi suegra es hoy. No, es mañana. I don't know if I'm saying that right. You guys, I need to practice my Spanish. I really do. Necesito practicar mi español más. Uh, okay. Anywho, um, yeah, I'm going to get going and I'll see you back at home. This is our outdoor area. So sad. Very, 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 very sad. Mm -mm. Yeah. And then this is supposed to be an indoor plant and I brought it outside and I need to bring it back inside because it's not doing so good outside. Yeah, see this is why I need help with plants you guys. I need a lot of help.
Hey friend, just wanted to pop on here to say that the Bible Study Academy is going to have a price increase in September. So for the rest of August, all of the courses are only $12.99 and then in September they're going to go up to $19.99. So if you want to get a great deal on these Bible study courses, then go check them out now. They're only $12.99, but like I said, in September, the prices are going to go up to $19.99. This is the In-Depth Bible Study Academy. Right now we have, I believe, six or seven courses launched teaching you how to study your Bible, starting from the very basics and going all the way in depth into so many different Bible study tools, history, context, Old Testament, New Testament, everything like that. So go check it out now. I want to tell you guys to grab these deals while you can before the prices increase. All right, let's get right back to the video. All right, you guys, it's a new day. I just got back from Walmart. I don't usually shop at Walmart, but sometimes Walmart has things that I just can't get at Aldi. So then I just do all the grocery shopping at Walmart so that I don't have to go to two stores. I'm just like that. I don't want to go to two stores when I'm grocery shopping. So let me show you a quick Walmart haul. Why not? All right. So the first thing I got are some flowers that I want to put over on our kitchen table. These are only 4 to $5 at Walmart. So I'd say a pretty good deal for the smallest size. And I wanted to test out a new laundry detergent. Laundry detergent, detergent elements nine. Um, wanting to go a little bit more natural with the detergents just because of, let's see, that's the ingredients. Um, because other detergents have hormone disruptors apparently. So we'll see how this one goes. Um, and then let's see what else I got. So I'm baking a recipe today for a party that I'm going to. So I just got like some things for that recipe. I'll put the recipe right here to show you guys what I'm going to be making. So I got some of these like cupcake liners. Um decorating tip set. I've never done that before, so we'll see how it goes. And then for lunch today, I'm going to be making BLTs. So we got tomatoes. This is for um, the granola recipe I always make. All right, so we got the BLTs. So I got some bacon. I would have liked to go for a more organic farm-raised type bacon thing, but I couldn't find that at Walmart, so maybe Walmart doesn't have it. Um, cream cheese to go with the dessert I'm making. Let's see. Coconut oil for the granola recipe. Chips Ahoy for the baking recipe that I will be doing. So this is the bread that I'm going to be using for the BLTs. This is Ezekiel bread. This bread is actually from Ezekiel 4.9, like the ingredients. The ingredients are extremely wholesome. I'd say this is probably the best bread you can get out there for your body. Um, these lettuce wraps from Walmart are great. Better Crunch lettuce wraps, they're perfect for anything. I like the taste of that lettuce. Carrots just for dinners. I like roasting carrots for dinner. And then I was out of smoked paprika and garlic powder. So there you go. That is my simple Walmart haul of the day.
Alrighty, so I'm gonna show you guys a recipe that I love. One of my favorite things to cook as a new married wife. It's kind of unique, I don't know if everyone will love it. Let me know in the comments if this is something you'd like to try. But I cut up carrots like you saw in the last video and then everything that I add is soy sauce, honey, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, some Italian seasoning, a little bit of salt, and I just mix it all together, throw a teeny bit of olive oil on there, and then pop that in the oven. I do the oven at 375. And then right here on the stove, I have some tofu cooking also with tons of spices on it. So for the tofu, tofu doesn't really have a taste. So whatever you cook it with, that is what it will taste like. So I pretty much the same seasonings I put on the carrots. I did on the tofu. I did soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce. I didn't do honey. Um, I did some garlic powder, paprika, onion powder, Italian seasoning, a little bit of salt. And then I'm just cooking it in a little bit of ghee so that they don't stick to the bottom of the pan, which has happened to me a lot before. So I'm trying to figure that out. I stink and love tofu to make it have that chicken nuggety type of goodness. <coughs> oh my land. I will add in some nutritional yeast. Put that on there and then I'll pop them in the air fryer. So that is what I'm doing right now. It sounds super weird, super random. So something that I'm actually gonna try this time is to clean while I'm cooking. Something that I always fail at. Always fail at cleaning while cooking. But you know what you guys, I'm gonna do it this time so that Johnny doesn't have to clean up everything at the end. How are you doing? Looking at the tofu here. It's still sticking to the bottom. Not as bad.
up so it kind of evenly gets coated. Stick it in the air fryer. All right, so now that's going, I am going to continue cleaning because like I said, I'm cleaning up while cooking. This is how it turned out. What do you think? Uh, I'm out of it. <laughs> I'm stinking out of it right now. So we've been liking this sriracha called no. Blue Agave Sriracha. Right Apparently he likes Sky right. Valley I'm Sriracha. Thing, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a sriracha guy. That's, that's what I, the doctor gave me when I was born. So one of the things that <laughs> happened here in the United States is a shortage. Apparently there's shortage in Mexico, whatever, of the chili. So that's it. <sighs> well, I'm sad. This is enough. That's brand. why we're doing off brand sriracha's here. Okay, bye. If you've made it this far, then that is incredible because you guys get a little sneak peek into what has been happening in our lives recently. So big changes are happening here at the Armijo house. So as you can see, I'm packing things up, but I'm not gonna tell you exactly why I'm packing and exactly the reason because I wanna leave you guys with a little bit of a mystery. But if you did watch this long, then definitely comment down below. Tell me, um, tell me what you think is going on here why am i packing right so yeah i'm so excited for these big life changes god has been so faithful and it's definitely been a roller coaster in this past season and things are happening that i did not expect to happen but i am so excited so i cannot wait to see you guys in the next few vlogs where you get to see what's been going on in my life like i said comment down below I love you guys and I will see you very, very, very soon.